Good morning, warriors. I hope you're feeling as good and excited about life as I am today. And if you're not, get a grip. God wins. I'm just pleased to be with you to introduce this segment today. Uh, this was written a couple of years after I'd started C12, and I took some time apart to just kind of reflect on what was going on, how it was happening, and uh, uh, how should I see the work that, uh, that God had given me to do. Uh, I had about 40 members at this point, spread over three groups. As I reflected, I was really almost overcome with the awe and humbled at what I saw happening in the lives and companies of, of these C12 members. Um, and I was also thinking about and developing some different metrics, uh, seeing our work as Christian CEOs and owners in a, a slightly different way than what we typically did. And so I, I produced this segment we're about to share today called an annual audit and presented it to my three groups. And the response of the groups was, uh, was so positive and they requested that we do it every year. So this is an annual uh, tradition part of C12 and this goes back now over 20 years. Uh, it typically has been read uh, as part of the lesson, but I'm privileged to be able to give it to you live today. What I wrote back then was when I reflect over the past year and hold what I see in you up against these measures, I'm thrilled and humbled. There's been so much growth and great progress. No, we aren't where we would like to be. None of us would claim that. But neither are we where we used to be, thanks be to God. If this was all there ever was to be of C12, and it all went away tomorrow, knowing you and relating with you this past year has been the high point of my life. I can truly say to you and to God, it has been a very good year. We just held our semi-annual C12 Leaders Conference in Nashville, where, as we've chosen to do, C12 group members teach other members what they do well. It was historic in many ways. I was thrilled to, 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 to be able to share with the, the folks that were there that we had seen over 6,000 people come to know Christ through you and through your businesses. 6,000 souls added to the kingdom and $23 million had been contributed to the work of the gospel through C12 member companies in the past year. You know, that's the bottom line of what we're really all about. We do want to build great companies, but it is for a greater purpose. For those of you that weren't able to be there, I would really urge you to, to review the segments as they're posted online. Coming away from this highlight time, and again reflecting, only this time over 20 years, I would say now what I said then, only stronger. If this was all there ever was to be of C12, and it all went away tomorrow, my time with you all has been the greatest time of my life. C12ers are the best people in the world. And whether I'm sitting around a table with a group in Oregon or California or Texas or Chicago, New York, Florida, it doesn't matter. Across the nation, I believe that you all are the greatest hope for the transformation of your companies, your cities, the states, the, the, our country, and ultimately the world. And it's been my thrill and my pleasure to be associated with you. As you reflect on these different metrics today, let God's Spirit speak to your hearts. Do what He tells you to do and, and then press on. Have a blessed Christmas and a new year filled with faith and fruit. God bless you.